Hey everybody, welcome to the Outlet Podcast channel. My name is Gazy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And you're watching the Outlet Podcast. In the beginning was the word book club. Now, you might be wondering, is this episode three of the Diary of Anne Frank? Uh, no, 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 not really, guys. Um, you see, I finished the, the Diary of a Young Girl. I finished it maybe a week and a half ago. And so... I'm just doing these videos. I'm uh, I'm just uploading these videos uh, of my perspectives and some observations that I've had when I read the book. I'm just uploading them um, at m the at my like best time, like when I'm most available to upload them. I'm not always here in front of my computer. So um, why am I uploading a book with the title "A Narrative Life"? Boom! A narrative life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave. Well currently you see this pen right here it's because presently i am reading this book now i'm going to be doing two books uh one that i've already read and i'm just uploading stuff this one is going to be my current book that i'm reading uh now uh i'll just let me just go into it like my rules guidelines my uh my syllabus uh, I messed it up often. You're going to see me say hey, there's only two rules, three rules, four rules, whatever. Um, number one, we're reading for comprehension. We're not reading to impress anybody. We're reading to gain knowledge and make ourselves better people. And number two, we're not reading. Um, we need to be consistently reading. We need to educate ourselves, and it has to be consistently. So don't put, don't put the books down. If you have to make room 30 minutes for uh, reading a couple chapters, don't or one chapter don't let it get you down like why why um so many people get down because they're not making progress that they feel and and that's in anything listen your feelings don't have anything to do with the progress that you make i'll repeat that put that hashtag outlet podcast thoughts because your feelings don't have anything to do with the progress that you make because you might feel like you're not losing weight but hey if you're actually doing a real good job at your diet and you're going to the gym and whatnot you are going to make progress in some way shape or form you know you're not you might not have the body type of like a like a like michael phelps but you know what it's not about you won't be Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps might never, ever see you. You are you. You need to do things for yourself, not for others, for you. That's my motivation. Uh, and that's my motivation when I'm reading this stuff. Like, um, there's another book that I was reading, but uh, it's um, kind of been a little difficult for me, so I won't talk about that one that much. Um, not yet. After I make a good headway with this, I might. Um, why am I reading about holding it up again why am i reading about uh frederick Douglass? is it black history month no it, it, am i reading this because of all black lives matter no um it, do i hate white people no come on grow up um i'm not reading for any of those reasons and neither should you uh because we've been conditioned here in this country to read only what uh, society would like for us to read and there are many experiences that are just as valid, many perspectives and ob observations that are made by other people who are just as credible and just as valid and even much more intelligent than others. Uh, for example, I would rather read the Zora Neale Hurston's the, her, their, their Eyes Were Watching God than read anything by Ann Coulter. Smut smut or bill o'reilly i'm sorry uh i don't read uh no no no, no. I, I just oh don't get me started but anyways <laughs> i'm not reading for uh, political reasons i don't i don't read for political reasons i'm reading the narrative life of frederick Douglass, an american slave because of one quote let me share this quote with you now, I don't know if what your background is, and if I probably offended you by saying Bill O'Reilly and Ann Coulter are terrible human beings and should never have a pen or pencil in their hands. Um, well, I don't really apologize for my opinion. However, I want you to understand this quote, and I would like for this quote 
from this gentleman to change the uh, to change the idea that you might have about literacy and education. Let me go into it. Uh, the quote I have, it's it's uh, he has a number of quotes that he makes. And this is just one. Of, it's a small one. You can memorize it. And it's very, very uh, impactful. It's uh, his quote is actually found on page 64. And he says, you have seen uh, how you have seen how a man was made a slave. You shall see how a slave was made a man. Now, I don't know if that would I don't know if that got you. It got me. Um, as a born again Christian, I believe, and as a born again Christian who is suffering in this flesh, because this flesh loves its desires, this this body loves things that are contrary to what uh, my God would want for me. I struggle often, and it's a very difficult battle. And oftentimes, I find myself in a in a slavery situation now don't if you're a christian i know you're going to understand um if you're not a christian please don't uh don't compare don't feel that my comparison is to uh, uh under appreciate uh, not under appreciate but under value or under recognize under recognize the suffering of the african-american people uh in this country that is not what I mean. Um, I I if anything, I saw what I I've been reading what they've what uh, Frederick has gone through. And man, I just feel I don't I, I feel horrible that that was a part of uh, American. That that's part of our history. If some people don't like to talk, some people like to talk about hi uh, heritage, not hate. Well, then I advise you to just hold on and let me show you. Let me read to you a passage uh, about what heritage and hate might be. Here we go. Uh, my observation that uh, of a couple of readings that I have selections, I'll just read it real quick. I have on um, page 18 of The Narrative Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. Uh, I'm not reading this to shame white people. You, uh, I'm here to shame all of us. We are all Americans. And whether or not you were Americanized just yesterday, congratulations, or if you've always been an American because uh, your grandparents, great-grandparents are here, or if you're an American because of any other means, um, this is history that you need to hold on to. This is history that you need to accept as your own because we as American people, we are all in this together. All of us, Ra all race, all religions, all ty uh, sexual orienta orientations, we're all in this country together, and we all need to work together to the best of our ability. Not saying that we need to accept one another. We need to tolerate one another. And as a Christian, tolerance uh, comes in forms of love. So I can lovingly tolerate anybody but I don't accept certain lifestyles and certain ways people live. Uh, don't, don't think that me not accepting the way you live is uh, condescending. No, no, no. It's just not how I would live. Much maybe how you wouldn't like how I live. So let me, let me just um, read this to you. Okay. Um, I never saw, uh, page 18, I never saw my mother to know her as, su as such more than four or five times in my life and each of those times was very short in duration and at night she was hired by mr stewart who lived about 12 miles from my home she made her journeys to see me at night traveling a whole distance on foot after the performance of her day's work uh we'll skip ahead uh death soon ended up what little we could have uh, while she lived and with it, her hardships, her hardships and suffering. She died when I was about seven years old on one of my master's farms near Lee's Mill. I was not allowed to be present during her death, uh, her illness at her death or her burial. Um, I'm just going to uh, skip ahead real quick. Uh, called thus suddenly away, she left me without 
the slightest information of who my father was. The whisper that my master was my father may or not be may or may not be true. And true or false, it is but little consequence to my purpose while still whilst the fact remains in all its glaring odiousness that slaveholders have ordained and the law established that the children of slave women shall in all cases follow the condition of their mothers um i'm gonna stop right here real quick um because i'm gonna stop right there in i usually want to do uh you know what i'm just gonna do uh, another episode there's a lot to cover here. This gentleman was uh, this gentleman was in slavery at the time and um he learned he was able to learn. I hope I'm not damaging another a future episode, but I'll just go ahead and say it. Uh his the person who purchased him mi- was a Mr. Anthony. Now, Mr. Anthony uh his wife educated young Frederick. His name, his name actually wasn't uh, Frederick Douglass, if you will. Uh, his name uh, was actually uh, in February. Frederick Douglass is born Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey. So his name was uh, Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey. He added Douglass because of um, a, per, a famous person that he admired. Uh, like a a fictitious person, Douglas, uh, a character from Sir Walter, for Walter Scott's A Lady in the Lake, or Lady of the Lake. He added that uh, name so he wouldn't get caught. Um, But he was purchased by a Mr. Anthony and his uh, Mr. Anthony's wife taught him how to a little bit how to read. He also would uh, give like his lunch or something. Well, he would kind of give it to the white boys of where he lived in Maryland, and the white boys would chain would trade their uh, like their homework to him. They'd give it to him. And the, the, what's beautiful about kids is that kids aren't racist. Kids don't hate. Uh, kids don't. D- that is something that they are taught, shamefully taught, shamefully taught. But they don't hate. And these boys, young boys, would encourage Frederick to learn. And it's uh, something beautiful there. Um, But he, as he was learning, his wife, um, well, Mr. Anthony's wife uh, found out and told uh, his wife that, uh, I'm not going to say the word, uh, the derogatory term, but he said that uh, uh, a slave shouldn't learn how to read or write because they need to be dumb in i'm summarizing they need to be dumb and at that point uh frederick recognized the value of education and of literacy i'm gonna get into that when i get there i know i i'm for certain that i'm going to read that but uh at this present moment and page 18, he assumed he's uh, he's uh, seven years old. And what is let me get to the page real quick. I apologize. Wh- what we find is that he's talking about his mom, he, his mother, and he doesn't even really know his mother. And that's a part of the uh, dehumanization that when I'm reading about slavery, um, while I when I'm reading about slavery, they were so dehumanized I, I can't even look what they've had to go through the 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 embarrassing and 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 all of these because they these white men were christian and they were no sense of the word christian they were they were despicable human beings uh, hiding behind god and using god as an excuse to justify uh financial gains uh, horrible people and uh, shameful people. Uh, I'm not gonna attribute. If you're, if you your great grandfathers, great 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 grandfathers were uh, slave owners. Listen, you're not your great grandfather, so I'm not gonna say that you're an, a, a shameful human being, unless you are by some other means. But I'm not gonna attribute someone's sin onto you. You're not that person. Anyways. Um, yeah, so he doesn't even know that his he doesn't even know who his dad is, and um, 
let me I'll stop it right there. I'll stop it right there. And I'll just do another episode uh, because the other content I would like for you to stick around, stick around. If you're never going to read this book, if you're never going to read it, please stick around. Please listen. This is a part of our history, our American history. And uh, it, regardless of how bad it was, uh, we need to we need to do it the proper justice. Obtain, uh, like, listen to it, retain it, and cause it to make, and allow it to cause a change in you. You make proper assump, make the proper adjustments in your life according to the information that you receive, so that you can be a better person to everybody who's around you. Uh, sincerely, I mean this. Um, so, you're watching the Outlet Podcasts. In the beginning was the word book club, and we are reading the narrative life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave. Uh, let me know what you all think uh, about this endeavor. Uh, please hold. If you're going to be a troll, don't be a troll here. I will boot you. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're going to drop end bombs and all this stuff, uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, I know YouTube can be whatever, but... Uh, we're talking about your fellow Americans, whether you believe whether you want to appreciate their perspectives or whatever, that's up to you. But there's no need to be rude and be out of line. So uh, comment below. Let me know what you think, what you have learned. And I hope that what we're learning today might uh, might uh, change your perspectives as it is changing mine. And it's coming causing me to be a little more um, holy like more sound in my, my being. So find me on Facebook, facebook.com backslash outlet podcast at outlet podcast on Twitter. You can also find me on uh, SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, and Blueberry. My audio content is all there. Should I show you? Oh, no, 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 I won't show you. I got, oh, maybe right here. Okay, there you go. Pull it in right there. That is my, this is my Fender Stratic American Fender Stratocaster Mystic Blue with the maple neck. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. And I've been doing my acoustic sessions uh, on the Outlet Podcast audio content. It, all of my acoustic sessions are there. All of my uh, sound, uh, my spark plugs are just diary thoughts that I have during the day. Uh, during the day. And you can find my podcast out content right there so just uh, find me via your itunes soundcloud stitcher radio or blueberry accounts and subscribe to the rss feed and get all this audio content that i am sure you will enjoy right here youtube and periscope and facebook.com backslash outlet podcast on twitter at outlet podcast it's a pleasure thank you very much for watching this video hope you're blessed god bless you and this has been the book club uh, connect and recharge. <laughs>